Hey, Steph listeners, hear about the latest trends in the travel industry with the brand USA Talks Travel Podcast. Right now, listen to special live from IPW interviews featuring U.S. Travel's Jeff Freeman. DMOs are at the heartbeat of U.S. Travel. Liz Bittner from Travel South. A lot of key gateway markets are back. L.A. Tourism's Adam Burke. We all win when we all partner together. Plus, brand USA's Stacey Melman and Jackie Ennis with international travel trends and Chris Thompson's farewell finale. I'm Mark Lapidus. Join us for brand USA Talks Travel on your favorite podcast platform. Brand USA Talks Travel. Good morning from Skift. For daily updates in your inbox, subscribe to the Skift Daily Newsletter at skift.com slash daily. It's Tuesday, April 13th in New York City, and now here's what you need to know about the business of travel today. The U.S. travel industry is dealing with the reappearance of a major problem, a lack of workers in the hospitality sector. Numerous businesses are struggling due to a scarcity of employees. Skift Hospitality reporter Cameron Spearance writes the downturn was unforeseen, considering that vaccination rates in the U.S. had increased faster than expected. But one possible reason why workers aren't returning to positions in the hospitality industry is the extra $300 in weekly unemployment benefits that appeared in the most recent round of coronavirus relief has deterred some from working in hospitality jobs with lower wages. Businesses such as Uber and Delta have been hard hit by the substantial decrease in people working in the travel sector. It will be critical for the travel sector to fill a large number of hospitality positions as several markets, such as Key West, are seeing an increased number of visitors. Some analysts fear the shortage will be long-term as President Biden's infrastructure plan, if it comes to fruition, could tempt workers who view construction jobs as higher paying than those in hospitality. Next, if some French legislators get their way, fewer travelers in the country will head to the country's airports for short domestic flights. As part of a vast climate bill that seeks to decrease carbon emissions by 40 percent from 1990 levels by 2030, flights would be limited on routes where train service takes less than two and a half hours, writes airlines reporter Edward Russell. If the law is passed, the regulations would pertain to flights run by all airlines, not just Air France. While the national carrier has has suspended flights between Paris Orly and Bordeaux, Lyon, and Nantes due to the conditions of its 2020 relief package. The proposed ban will likely have a tiny effect on the company. The three above mentioned canceled routes represented just under 5% of Air France's domestic capacity in 2019. Finally, one trend likely to hit the travel industry is a boom in businesses offering loyalty points. Some in the industry view loyalty programs as a way of encouraging people to pay full price. Numerous travel suppliers have been forced to devise methods to engage with loyal customers through ways other than booking a trip or other activities during travels. Their methods have come to resemble engagement programs because of the lack of actual travel. Such tactics could be a plus for loyalty tech vendors such as Points International National, writes senior travel tech editor Sean O'Neill. The Toronto-based company unveiled a subscription program last year that enabled members of a loyalty program to guarantee a certain number of miles or points in their account at a reduced cost in exchange for an annual fee. Points International also unveiled its Connect Miles plan, giving flyers the right to set a travel goal. Those flyers agree to purchase a set amount of miles monthly at a discount and thus receive bonus miles in a series of rewards. Points International CEO Rob McLean said the company has been able to boost its revenue and profit margins without having to make any significant changes to its operations. For more travel stories and deep dives into the latest trends, head to skiff.com. For more insight into the business of travel, subscribe to the Skiff Daily Newsletter at skiff.com daily. Spoken Layer. Hey, Skiff listeners, hear about the latest trends in the travel industry with the brand USA Talks Travel Podcast. Right now, listen to special live from IPW interviews featuring U.S. Travel's Jeff Freeman. DMOs are at the heartbeat of U.S. Travel. Liz Bittner from Travel South. A lot of key gateway markets are back. L.A. Tourism's Adam Burke. We all win when we all partner together. Plus, brand USA's Stacey Melman and Jackie Ennis with international travel trends and Chris Thompson's farewell finale. I'm Mark Lapidus. Join us for brand USA Talks Travel on your favorite podcast platform. Brand USA Talks Travel.